Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're going to be looking at the best diagnostic scan tools and scanners for Kia and Hyundai vehicles in 2021 and 2022. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you which of these tools on display here I would personally recommend giving my 15 years experience in the field. I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment section. So be sure to follow those links as they will take you to genuine and official products. Unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist they do make our life a lot harder and they can potentially damage your vehicle as well so please be very careful on that now i'll start with the cheapest to work my way up to the most expensive and it can be said generally that the the more expensive the tool the more functionality and the more coverage it will have that is true but that doesn't necessarily mean that the lowest price tool won't do a job for you just as well it all really depends on your personal requirements like your budget and also your vehicle requirements so what car it's going to work on and what system you need it to uh, work on and what function you wish for the tool to carry out so we're going to start with the iCarsoft kr version 1.0 kit uh, as i say this is the cheapest tool and this will basically allow you to diagnose and reset the main systems in your kia uh, or hyundai vehicles so it's going to allow you to diagnose and reset fault codes and warning lights for things like the check engine systems so the engine system uh, the abs braking system the airbag system and the transmission system and it will give you access to a few other systems as well um, it all really depends on what what systems are actually installed into your vehicle um, the tool will also allow you to do one service function so it'll allow you to reset the maintenance or the air so the oil uh, warning light that may come on uh, for, for its yearly service so this tool will allow you to do that as well we then move on to the iCarsoft KHD2 kit. Now this kit will do everything that this kit will do, but it has a few more features. Uh, so the additional features uh, include, I think it's like electronic park and brake and maybe steering angle sensor as well. Um, I would have to double check, but ultimately click the link in the description and that will give you a full roundup of exactly what this kit will do. This tool is generally about 50 pounds more than this tool. Um, I think for the, for the extra money that you're going to pay for it, you're not getting a great deal of extra um, functionality. So between the two kits, you know, it's up to you to make a decision as to whether uh, the, the additional functionality is worth paying the extra £50. Uh, and then we come to the iCarsoft CR Pro kit. This tool is a big step up from this tool because this tool covers everything that these tools will do, but this has a lot of additional uh, service functions included, service functions or special functions as they're also known. So this tool will basically allow you to do um, a few of the service functions such as electronic park and brake, diesel particulate filter, uh, reset and regeneration, injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, electronic throttle reset, steering angle sensor and new battery registration. It is important to know though that those functions aren't suitable for all vehicles. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put an email address in the description below. Please use that email address, contact the guys at Diagnostic World and they'll be able to confirm as to whether a specific function is suitable for a specific vehicle. Um, it also helps if you give them the VIN number, that speeds up the process. And then we move on to the Autel MK808 kit. This is the most expensive tool on the table. It's also the best tool on the table. It's probably, it's nearly double the price of this tool, uh, but it is, it is good for a reason because it covers up to 25 service options. So including the service functions I mentioned in this tool, it also goes over and above that and it does things like adaption, does gear learning, it does suspension calibration and a wide range of other service functions as well. Um, so when it comes to the tool, I was, sorry, what I would say is I, th I think this is generally more geared towards um, mobile mechanics, small garages, small workshops. Or there's nothing wrong with going for this tool if you're a DIYer. It's just be prepared to pay the price tag of this tool. You know, the, a DIYer can go ahead and use this. It's very easy to use, um, but it's generally out of the budget of most DIYers. So that's why, you know, the, the reason that I say that is because the tool that I would recommend is this one here, the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. And the reason I recommend this is because I think it gives, I believe it gives the best value for money um, when we look at vehicle coverage, when we look at system coverage, and when we look at um, service functionality. Oh, one thing I did mention actually, sorry, is <laughs> this tool also covers 
all makes and models. So it doesn't just cover Kia or Hyundai like these do. This covers all makes and models from all regions. So it'll cover the American brands, the European brands, and the Asian brands as well. So this is my recommendation. When it, when it comes to service functionality, vehicle coverage, system coverage, this one is the one I'd go for every time. But it all really depends on your budget, your specific needs. You know, if you've got a Kia and all you need to do is reset a check engine or an ABS or an airbag light, you know, there's no problem with going for this kit here. Um, it all really depends on your, your budget, as I say. Now, remember, I'm going to put links to all of these kits in the description below this video. And make sure you follow those links so you get genuine and official products because the fakes and the clones do exist. Uh, email Diagnostic World if you need clarification on any of these tools. Uh, email address is in the description below. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's helped. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.